A Knicks fan named Brett Klein was stopped by security at their home arena, MSG, and started recording. In the video, you can hear guards asking for ID. I just want to verify you are who you are. Then telling him, we know you're in the building. Anytime you come here, we're going to approach you. When Brett asked why he was stopped, they refused to give him specifics. Come on, social media. What, what does that mean? Then about five guards get involved, and Brett was told to move along, but to watch out. He was never given a reason for being harassed. It turns out, Brett posted something on social media the Knicks owner James Dolan didn't like. Dolan plays in a band and Brett commented, sell the team. That landed Brett in the Knicks facial recognition system at MSG as a code three, which tells guards to approach the individual and intimidate them by saying, we know you're in the building. There are six codes for anyone that hurts James Dolan's feelings. Dolan is taking a lot of heat for this, but he has done even nastier things in the past. Dolan got the Knicks from his dad who started a billion dollar cable company in the 70s. He made his son CEO two years after going to drug and alcohol rehab. Since making the finals in 99, they have been the worst team in the NBA. And among the top five worst, they have by far the fewest playoff wins to celebrate. Sucks being a Knicks fan. But the reason the fans hate James Dolan is how he treats people. Carmelo Anthony had the weirdest experience as a Nick. Dolan had his people spy on his own player. Two audio techs stood on either side of the court with long range mics pointing pointed at Mello. Dolan told them to record every syllable Carmelo Anthony utters while he's on the court and on the bench and send the tape directly to me. How creepy is that? He also hired a person to follow his head coach Mike Woodson wherever he went. A reporter called him the Woodson Watcher. The employee wouldn't leave Woodson's side as the coach even met with his family and friends. It was an awkward and uncomfortable scene. So no wonder big time free agents and the best coaches do do not want to work in New York. Stories like these made Katie and Kyrie choose the Nets over them, and it made Steve Kerr choose the Warriors over the Knicks when he became a coach. But being a fan is worse. A longtime fan wrote a pretty harsh email telling Dolan to sell the team, but the response he got was savage. Mr. Bierman, you're a sad person. I'm just guessing, but I'll bet your life is a mess. You most likely have made your family miserable. Alcoholic, maybe. In the meanwhile, start rooting for the Nets because the Knicks don't want you. Dude, I guarantee that old man can never go to a Knicks game again because he is in their facial recognition program. The technology is meant for terrorists and criminals, but Dolan uses it on actual Knicks fans. Code zero, do not admit. One person on this list is a fan who told Dolan to sell the team to his face. I think I should sell the team. That's rude. You know what? Enjoy watching them on TV. Code one, VIP. The only good code. It has people on it like Tracy Morgan, who never criticizes Dolan, or Pete Davidson, who attends games regularly. Code two, security aware. Spike Lee is a code two, which means that security knows he's in the building. He used to be a code three until he went on national TV to complain and made a big scene at the arena. But no one told me. No one told me. I'm, back, like, I'm being harassed by James Dole. I don't know why. Code three, confront the fan. That's our guy, Brett Klein, who posted sell the team on Facebook. We know you're in the building. Anytime you come here, we're going to approach you. Why is that, Bob? Yes, but why is that? We just want to advise you there's a code of conduct here and that all fans have to abide by it. That's it. Okay, that's fair, but I want to know exactly what it is that I don't just informing you. And the guards even know why they're stopping him, but they have been told to not tell. But they aren't the issue. In fact, most of these guards hate having to do this. Code four, confront the fan and reprimand their behavior. I'm not sure how this is different than a code three. Maybe they actually tell the fan why they were flagged. Code five, eject. This is like banning people, only you get to humiliate them too. During a game, a code five is approached by the head of security, a cop, and a lawyer, and then booted. Actor Michael Rapoport is on this list. He used to have courtside seats, but got fed up when Knicks legend Charles Oakley was carried out by security guards in 2017. Rapoport's first defense was to rip Dolan, saying he looks like a hobbit, which is actually pretty accurate, but now they are worst enemies. When they give the New York Knicks owner that trophy, and that's you, little Jimmy Dolan, you will be booed 
but not that many people feel sorry for celebrities. Dolan got in big trouble for harassing someone else. A woman was chaperoning her nine-year-old daughter's Girl Scout troop to a Christmas celebration at Radio City Music Hall. She happens to work at a law firm that is suing James Dolan. So she was kicked out and the group of nine-year-olds were left alone in New York City for 90 minutes. But she doesn't even practice law in New York and isn't even working on the James Dolan case. The blowback was so harsh Dolan did his first interview in four years. So fans shouldn't have any fear that being critical of ownership or the team or any of the teams could potentially lead to being banned using facial recognition. No, that's not going to happen. That's not. Has, that's it, has any fan been banned over that? The, the uh, only the ones who have come down and gotten right into your face. That's not true. We know it's not true. All Brett Klein did was post sell the team on social media. What Dolan is saying is you can criticize the Knicks, but don't tell me to sell the team. He's basically trying to stamp out people who say sell the team by threatening them. If there's any fan who likes going to games, he's making them scared to speak out. Is that gonna work? No, of course not. It's gonna backfire. People are gonna hate him even more for this. Using a technology for terrorists on your own fans? That is so low. No other team owner is this paranoid and this petty. And it's destroying the Knicks on the court. Free agents don't want to go there and deal with this guy. The best coaches stay away. Oh, he's got Leon Rose in World Wide West running the front office. No one has better relationships with stars than them. How many stars have they been able to get? And the sad thing is, Dolan has actually gotten better as an owner. When he first took over, the Knicks were famous for overpaying players like Allen Houston or bad trades like Eddie Curry. He eventually learned not to tell the front office what to do. Imagine that. But now he has morphed into a shadow over the team that creates a toxic nastiness. He's ruining things in a whole different way. He's already pissed off the local media. The Knicks are so paranoid, they have an employee present for every player interview. That does not happen with other teams. Remember the big press conference when they got Jalen Brunson? Yeah, there wasn't one. They didn't even invite reporters to the event they're so paranoid. I guarantee I will not be able to go to Nick games, or at least I will be stopped for making this video. But people gotta know what's going on because it's disgusting. Big shout out to Ethan Strauss. Go subscribe to his Substack, House of Strauss. He did most of the research and actually kind of broke this story. I've mentioned him here on the channel before, but I actually did the research for a Reddit post that almost took down the NBA. This guy basically claimed on Reddit that the NBA is rigged and it was taken so seriously. The NBA commissioner had an emergency meeting 24 hours after the post. Check it out.